Now, on second thought, it is tradition on this channel to show everything there is to be seen in a game, isn't it? So here we are, we're back. One last quick run through here. Hopefully we'll see 100% on the file at the end. Maybe not, I don't know. I also don't know how it is you actually unlock some of the little things like the different faces for the figure roller. So we'll have to see. Apparently I started easy mode at some point. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I don't know when that happened. There's still a couple of levels you won't get to see, like the balance board levels. I have a balance board sitting somewhere, I think. I don't know if it works. I don't know if I can connect it to, to my little... To my dolphin bar is what I'm using. To connect my Wii remotes to my computer. No idea. Um, can you play these actually without a balance board? You might. Oh wait. Let's read that. Reading is hard sometimes, but... Plus the A button. Okay, so press the A button to play with the Wii remote. So you can actually also play with these with the Wii remote if you want. They're, I, you can see them here. They're not very fun to play with the Wii remote. It's really awkward playing this with a balance board. And they made the levels to take that into account. And you can't turn like all the way left or right or whatever. So honestly, I think it's enough to just show these. You'll see though that they're made with a very different idea in mind, like aesthetic, you might say. They're made very differently. Actually, heck. How many levels are there here? I don't know. Okay, I was about to say, are there actually like 100 levels here? No, but there are 30. That would be an interesting level to play. I don't think I ever played all of them myself. I don't know, maybe I should look at those someday? I don't know. I played some of them on the actual balance board myself, back in that day. Anthony? It's gonna be weird being here in easy mode. So, like I did with hard mode, I'll start off on easy. This isn't just gonna be an easy mode playthrough, though. At least at the beginning, it's gonna be a super easy mode playthrough. Why? Because... Oh no, we play this to get golds, I think. I keep talking about the panda being terrible. If you don't know why the panda's terrible, I'll show you here. It's gonna be real hard switching to this from the... Oh man, we have guardrails everywhere and everything. It's gonna be really hard... Look at that floating flower. It's gonna be really hard switching to this panda from the from Saturn because this thing doesn't... This panda is basically... Ah! Uh, everything! That lots of people dislike about this game. But to provide, for, to provide some entertainment, I think it could be fun. It feels like I'm always on that sticky green stuff. To provide at least some entertainment, I figure I could... What was that? Yeah. Is that ladybug on the right? Ooh. To provide some extra... Shoo! Speak. To provide some extra entertainment, I think it would be appropriate to use this marble just, just to amuse. But we should get through everything really quickly anyways. If it really gets too bad, we could stop using this marble. This marble actually makes noises, like most of the marbles in this game. Ah, uh, look, look how much I'm tilting and how slowly I'm actually rolling. So, what a lot of people cannot stand about this game is how slowly some of the marbles roll, most of them, how sticky they are. And this panda takes that to the extreme. And that's why I always use Saturn. And the reason being, I think, that if you don't have a steady hand, if you're not used to playing this game, then the slightest movement of your hand, the slightest accidental movement, and it's even sti even sticks on here. Come off. That issue with the slightest movement of your hand making the marble move in that direction can actually make it really hard to control the game for a beginner. Or younger audiences like this game is supposed to appeal to, I guess. And it's aesthetic. It's we're not having hands to find anywhere anymore. I'm not gonna get many golds this way. Hopefully I don't need to get golds to unlock more stuff. That might be the case. If that's how you unlock the different finger roller heads, for instance, I don't know. And sounds. Look at those. Those ladybugs. But the issue is then, 
basically by making the marble sticky to make it so that small movements don't make the ball go haywire, what happens then is that lots of your movements basically get ignored by the game. I hope I don't get super tired of these sounds this thing makes. Calm down, jeez! <laughs> Oh, a trophy. It's a real accomplishment for this thing. It's called Last Resort for a reason. But this is the super easy ball because it takes that handicap even further. Well, I only got kind of a handicap. It's, it's training wheels to an extreme degree. Because it really won't go anywhere unless you really try to make it go that way. It will only do what you tell it to do. I mentioned this under four seconds. Honestly, though, I think if I remember right, the progression of difficulties in this game basically goes. I beat one of my times. Basically goes from. pretty linearly from easy to normal to hard mode. So the end of this, I think, will be about. eh, maybe not easier than the beginning of easy mode, but not, not far off. So this. so easy mode's. or not easy mode, I'm sorry, normal mode. The end of easy mode is, I don't think, too much harder than the beginning of normal mode. And you saw how hard hard mode was from the very beginning. Even though it got a lot harder throughout. I did get a stumped up piece, right? Yep. So we should be able to get through all this pretty quickly. I noticed that still everything has walls around it and whatnot. Yeah, my favorite music, which you might not actually get to hear my favorite part of. I love the song Excitement so much. Maybe this is the new way this game tests our patience by making us listen to the sounds this thing makes. If we ever wanted, we could use a figure roller with the same stats to use whatever sounds we want. Ooh, look at that! Panda's moving up in the world. It's kind of nice not having to look so much for, for the ant everywhere. Every time. It is weird though, honestly. Not having to ah, worry much about anything. I think s at least some of the levels on easy though are actually modified version of hard mode levels. Modified versions, mind you. I, I think there's an easy mode level that's like this one. But this one's easier. Can I say easy mode? I might be switching up my words. Like, I think there's a normal... I think there's a level in normal mode that is just like this one, but not as easy. So this might be kind of a rehash of, of normal, but it's an easier rehash, so, yeah. So it still shouldn't take us long. Uh. Ah! I couldn't tell where I was. Panda is face down. There we go. Because this thing just doesn't move. You really have to try to get this thing to move anywhere, but that means it's only going to move where you really tell it to go. Notice how we have extra guardrails on here. Uh, and yet it still stops. Not even a... Not even a trophy. And we're already at number 10. Over that little platform. There we go. Yeah, if I try to use Saturn again after this, it's gonna be real crazy. Suddenly having a marble that can actually move, because I'm gonna get used to this if I do it for long enough. Ha! <laughs> Here's the big advantage to the panda, though. You don't need any space to... to get platforms to move towards you. You basically sit still. You can't... I think you can actually sit still. And have platforms move. Look at that. All the trophies. Which was really hard with Saturn. 
not even spending much time looking at these. Oh, first checkpoint. Still got it. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. You don't need cannons. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a new a new sense of control over this game. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know how much silly stuff we'll do like that, but that was that was nice. All right. So we'll start seeing new levels pretty soon. I think this thing supposedly is responsive to some degree. See, this is where we might start running into some issues. These scissors might be kind of hard to get past because we move one so slow, and two, it's so hard to it's so hard to start moving that what might happen is if we try to get onto any moving platforms or get past any moving hazards, this thing this thing can get some speed. It's just really hard. I feel like the sounds this thing makes is just a way to make fun of you for using this marble. Yeah, it's a little hard to get through there, quickly. It makes weird noises when it bounces off of stuff. It all sounds like confused. Come on. I know I could do it too, Anthony, because there's not much to... Not much to be worried about here. I wonder if any of the hard levels were, like, further modified versions of, of normal mode levels. I never got that impression. They always seem to me like they're usually uh, sticky marble on sticky surface. Like they were something totally original. Also, it's going to be easy to get crushed on this thing. Yeah, see, moving problems, moving, moving problems, moving platforms are an issue. Because they move much faster than the panic and process information. I did this all pretty quick last time. And I probably got a platinum, yeah. Because that got a soap, that got me a soap already. I vaguely remember a level like that on hard mode though. I'm quite certain, yeah, I know there are levels, I recognize these levels from normal, which is interesting, I'm surprised I remember normal as well as I do. I'm still speaking fast. I'm trying not to do that so much. I'm taking seriously what I said at the end of last playthrough. Like, this is not just a let's play thing, this is a life thing, I need to be able to talk to people. It's marble though. I'll get used to it, but you really have to make big movements with this thing. It really... everything feels so heavy. And amusingly, people call it Saturn heavy. And by people, I mean the marble select screen. You have to roll so far, or you need to tilt so far for this thing to roll. Alright, can we do one more level? Maybe we can. Look how far we're getting, though, in one episode. 15 levels. And an opening. So this, like I said, will be pretty quick. Of course, later levels will be a bit less trivial to get through, but still easy, I expect. So I wouldn't worry too much about this dragging on at all. Of course, if you're still watching this at this point, after me having done hard mode as well, you're probably actually enjoying watching me play this, so you might not be concerned about it going on too much longer. Did I pick up a, uh... No. Aha! Paying attention. Didn't think I picked up any of those. 
I might get a gulp one day with this panda. I'd be surprised, but it might happen. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Let me just do more of this. It's it's going pretty quick, but it's nice, simple relaxation as kind of a victory lap for, for the last playthrough we did, I think. Anyways, there you go.